Hey guys, welcome back. Um, I'm gonna do some uh, buzzing around here. Uh, we're rolling on beans. We're pretty well wrapped up. We got about, I'd say about 200 acres left to go. Um, we're gonna get rolling on corn. Corn's ready to go. So uh, we just gotta get these last little bit of beans out, and then uh, we should be good. I'm gonna I'm gonna go buzz around with uh, with this thing. Get you guys some uh, some good footage. Maybe do a little good montage here. Hope you enjoy that. I haven't got our drone running, so uh, we'll, we'll skip that for now. But. Uh, that's coming right now. No, we're over on uh, Michael's home place his little 40 He's got there around his building site. We're, we're rolling there. I'll probably finish that up today It wouldn't take long to do 40 acres with a 35 foot head um, And then from there, I don't know where we're gonna move, but we'll we'll just keep on rolling. Enjoy
like a glove. Taking off with the, with the first truck here. I'm uh, taking over in the cart. Listening to some jackrabbit football. Uh, not a great game so far. Let's hold them. Go Big Blue. Right now, the stems are just a bit green on the hills. Um, Jackrabbits just scored. We're looking good. Good day. Rolling here, getting some good shots in of the, the combine and the tractor combo. Loving this new tractor. It's so comfy. Got my cooled seat on. Got the massager running. Living the dream. Really nice. Setting the line and going along. All I have to do is watch back, check my speed, make sure nothing's going over. Really easy. I kind of like that new auto path John Deere come out with, but without the without the modem on the on the combine to make it work, so we can make this work like it is with, with this combine. I was in a combine the other day that had it in, and uh, it's a lot more beeping going on to be communication between the combine and the tractor. This farm, this quarter, uh, was originally called Pots. When we were farming it, all is one piece, uh, but it's since changed since all this 80 on the west side is still Pots, and then we call the East 80 uh, Farmers National, just because we farm it a little different. Um, we custom farm this as opposed to renting the ground over there. Um, just kind of funny, the names you come up with for your field names, we name most of all of ours after uh, previous owners, either the one previous or a couple previous. I know we've got one that's, uh, it wasn't the 
one prior, but it had once belonged to one of my great grandparents. Uh, O'Donnell was the last name, and so we call we went back and called it o the O'Donnell Farm. Drop a comment. Give me some of your goofy field names if you got uh, some interesting ones out there. If you name or if you name them the same way, if that's the same everywhere else, leave a comment below. Trucks pretty easy. Uh, we can get them right down the mail and maybe open it up too. I mean, we got we've got the whole length of road to use. Just well used up. Kind of pain in the butt. Otherwise, uh, got to farm around if it is what it is. Go through my harvest setup on our extended monitor here. We've got all the tractor settings, the SCVs, the flow and, and time it takes to run those, the rear rear hitch, just engine speeds. Um, you can set with the E23. Uh, that's how many hours we got on the machine now. And that's the engine power, counters for stuff. Um, that's pretty much everything on there. Then we got our guides here on this monitor, the 4600. Just so we can set, we set a south end is the name of this one. It's at about three, three degree angle with the same as the what the combine's going. You can change the spacing, shift the track, all that. Got our scale for the grain cart, right at 30,000 pounds, looks like about right now. Of course, the radio, so I can talk to the to the combine, or they can call me and blame me when I'm doing something wrong. And then, of course, the radio. Touch screen, got the jackrabbits playing. Like I said, listen to them. Sounds like a pretty good game. Wish it would have been there. But you got to harvest too, so. So as I'm moving along here, if I'm not close enough or too far away, I can hit either of those buttons and move over about three inches. And then if I'm not going fast enough or go slow, I scroll that up just a little bit, go off that four eighths of target, what I'm going for, and that's what I'm getting four eight. Jack, hey. you gonna ride the tractor? Yep. Hi, Charlie. Hi. You tell them what we're doing. It's called the beans. Yeah. And the rain car, of course. Yeah, and the green car. having some riders along for the day. Just catching here, getting close to dark. The elevators stopped taking loads in about uh, 20 minutes, so we Jim just left not too long ago. That'll be our last one for the night. We'll probably fill all the trucks again, fill the grain cart. I don't think we'll get, uh, it'll be close, but I don't think we'll get it all done. If not, we'll have something to start off with right and early the next day, or I think I've heard maybe that the elevators are closed tomorrow on Sunday. I think they don't have enough room, so. But it'll be Monday morning when we Going to hit up the elevators again and go from there. Thanks for following along, everybody. Hope you enjoyed this one. I uh, sure had a fun time making it. So, thanks for watching. See you next time.